Hi, I'm Mike Abel, co-founder of True Lacrosse. I'm here giving an offensive true tip for you. Uh, what we're going to work on is we're going to work on shooting. Okay, a um, couple things whenever we're uh, focusing on shooting. First thing, all right, foot placement. Make sure we have our uh, opposite foot forward. All right, we do this, uh, we get this position we call standing on the surfboard, okay? Next thing, hand placement on my stick, okay? Want to hand all the way down to the bottom of my stick. Top hand, lined up with my elbow. We call this the loaded position. Notice how my hand, right, is holding the stick. We always want to make sure that the, the stick is always on the upper palm of our hand, okay? This is going to allow me to snap the ball out of my stick when I shoot. All right, a lot of young players, when they first pick up a stick, they wrap their hand all the way around making a fist. This decreases my accuracy when I'm uh, when I'm going to be shooting. So again, my hand, all right, the stick is out in the upper part of my palm, thumb right along the side, all right, and then my lower hand is at the bottom of my stick, okay? So again, if I'm going to be shooting at the far cage over here, all right, hands low to position, stick up in the box area, staying on the surfboard, I want my hands up, out, and away from my body. Also notice how as much as I can, I want to try to keep the ball and the head of my stick above the uh, the butt end of my stick. So a lot of young players, what they'll do is they'll drop their stick at an angle like this, they catapult the ball, all right, and they snap their bottom hand down. We actually want to make sure that our stick is elevated. I'm pushing with that top hand, snapping the ball out of my stick, and then following through to my target. So I'm going to take a couple shots to show you guys what we're looking for. So I, I'm going to take you over to the goal. I want to show you guys something a little bit about uh, kind of where we want to be shooting the ball. If you notice when I look at the goal, okay, there's actually three triangles that we'll see. Okay, we'll see one with the, with the crossbar and then the, the netting. All right, uh, the seam makes a little triangle here. This is the big fat triangle right in the middle of the goal. Okay, if I was a goaltender, I'd be standing right in that middle part. Okay, this is the triangle that we want to avoid whenever we're shooting. Okay. I've got two lower triangles, so I've got one along the, along the post, all right, and then the seam up here, so we've got this lower triangle here, all right, on that side, and then we have a lower triangle on this side also. Anytime that I'm going to be shooting the ball, I want to make sure I'm not aiming for one of these triangles. So if I'm on this side of the cage, I want to shoot to this far triangle down here low. If I'm on this side of the cage, same thing, I want to go across the goal to that low triangle. Again, if a goalie is in the cage, it's going to be most difficult for them to try to make those saves in that lower spot. Uh, a common thing, uh, a common mistake that a lot of young players make is when they go to shoot, they bring their hands up, and then right before they shoot, they bring their hands in. We call this having alligator arms when they're going to shoot, and they kind of snap their hands down, and they're not able to create a lot of force on their shot. We want to get our arms up, out, and away from our body and go over the top anytime that we're going to be shooting, okay? So one thing that a lot of young players can do, um, coaches um, can do to make sure that they're working on the proper mechanics, shooting over the top and getting full extension, is you take an additional goal and you place this in front of the player that's going to be shooting. What this does is this forces the, goal, the, the offensive player to get their hands up and go over the top of that goal, right? And they're releasing the ball nice and high as they take that shot. So I'm going to take a couple to show you guys what we're looking for here. Again, hands are elevated. Step over the goal. Uh, again, we're utilizing the goal to make sure that the players are getting their hands over the top. When I was just demonstrating that, I was doing uh, time and room shooting where I was I was already had my feet set. I stepped down and took that shot over the top. Uh, we can be utilizing a goal also if we're going to practice maybe shooting on the run. So we can have a, a line to their back. Players can take us be on the run, shooting, trying to get over the top of the goal to make sure they're finishing uh, towards their last target there. Okay. Another way we can utilize the, uh, the goal is actually I can turn it on its side. So if I notice that I'm, uh, my players uh, or even myself training my, tra training uh, and practicing on my own, having trouble shooting over the top, okay? So if I'm, if I'm noticing that a lot of my players are shooting sidearm, okay, and not fully going over the top, when they go to shoot, we can place a goal right next to them, which forces them to shoot over the top, all right, when they go to uh, take a shot here. So again, I'll practice a couple of these, utilizing the goal as a structure so I don't shoot sidearm, I have to go over the top when I take the shot. So I'm here. So 
So again, what we want to do today is uh, is utilize some uh, some additional uh, goals or props to focus on making sure that we have proper shooting mechanics. Again, we put it on the side, really forced me to shoot over the top when the goal was right in front of me. It was helping me extend my arms and shoot over the top of the goal to make sure I'm getting full extension of my arms.